Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on days of the week. Most students would have a good idea about the days of the week. Students need to know the following. There are seven days in a week. The days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The normal weekdays are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We work or go to school on weekdays. That's what we normally do. Some people work on weekends, but the normal working days and school days are Monday to Friday. The two days of the weekend are Saturday and Sunday. We normally relax on the weekend. The following are basic examples of questions that students must be able to answer. So there are eight questions here and you can pause this video for as long as you want to give you time to answer these eight questions and on the next slide I will have the answers on these lines. So I'll just leave it on this slide for a short while. You pause it for as long as you want until you write the answers and then I will go to the next slide to show you the eight answers. So now we're going to see the eight answers and here they are and you can pause this slide for as long as you want to check how you went with the eight answers. So I'll go on to the final slide now. Remember, pause this slide if you need to, so you can check your eight answers. Fortnight. This is a duration of two weeks. Duration means that's how long it lasts. So a fortnight lasts for two weeks. Long weekend. This occurs when we have at least one or two extra days from school or work. The days off can be Monday or Friday or both days. So, for example, a long weekend can be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It can be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Or it can be an extra long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Dates. Dates can be written in many different ways. Examples of some ways are 4th of May 2016. You can write it this way with these slashes. You can write it this way with the dots. You can write May 4, 2016. Or you can write 4 May 2016. And no doubt there are a few other ways you can do it, but those ones are the most popular. In order to keep track of our daily activities, we can use school diaries, paper calendars, mobile phone calendars, etc. That means anything else that suits. So this video has given us a good example of days of the week and we've answered a few basic questions and we've seen how to write the dates in different ways.